Is Grand Theft Auto 6 in trouble and honestly bad for other video games? We'll be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So there's obviously going to be a lot of games compared to Grand Theft Auto 6 and vice versa when the game comes out in 2025, hopefully. And one of those games that's going to be compared to the most is probably coming from former Rockstar Games president and founder, Leslie Benzies, who famously left Rockstar Games after lots of drama and lawsuits and the whole exit was just messy and had so many details that we still don't know. And long story short, a lot of people thought this was going to be bad for Rockstar Games and Grand Theft Auto 6. Losing Leslie Benzies, one of the talented writers and creators of Red Dead Redemption, Grand Theft Auto, he went on to found his own studio, Build a Rocket Boy. And he just announced he's coming out with a new AAA title, Mind's Eye. Going on to say on social media, we're thrilled to announce our global publishing partner for Mind's Eye with IO Interactive, the creative behind the Hitman franchise. We can't wait to share our ever-evolving AAA universe Mind's Eye with the world. Wishlist now, mindseye.game. And with this, they have shared several different screenshots, which I'll actually show you guys right now. And they've also provided a description of the game itself. Mind's Eye is a story-driven action-adventure thriller set in a fictional near-future Americana, featuring best-in-class cinematics, high-octane driving, and explosive combat from legendary game director Leslie Benzies. And the game's description is, Play as Jacob Diaz, a former soldier with a mysterious neural implant who is suffering from memory loss and flashbacks. Set out on a series of dangerous covert missions to unlock the secrets of your past in a world filled with the persistent threat of artificial intelligence. High-tech experimentation, corporate espionage, political corruption, and an unchecked military. Mind's Eye is an immersive experience with a mind-bending complex narrative, rich environments, groundbreaking combat, future tech, and high-speed chases. And Mind's Eye is going to be available on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Now, I was a little bit confused when they released this statement because I had always thought that Mind's Eye was going to be a short story game inside of the Everywhere video game. But it seems like they have made this into a full-fledged AAA game, which is very cool. And this is going to be one of the biggest Grand Theft Auto 6 rivals. Not only because it's an ever-evolving AAA open-world universe, a direct comparison, but also it's being developed by former Rockstar Games president and creative game director Leslie Benzie. So naturally, there's going to be a huge rivalry there. How will it compare to Grand Theft Auto 6? Will it be similar? Will it be different? I guess only time will tell. But is this bad news for GTA 6? And do you think it's going to compete with the game and possibly even be better than the game. And to this, I want to bring up a comment and response I saw on the GTA forum site. This user posted, just saw this new Mind's Eye game by Leslie Benzies. Do you think it can rival GTA 6? With Jason, an admin on the GTA forum site, saying, GTA 6, thousands of developers from day one, Virtually infinite budget and time, Bespoke Engine made for open world games, decades of experience making GTAs within the studio, GTA 6 is likely their only project in active development. Whereas Mind's Eye, AAA startup, hundreds of developers at most, and they took years to get there, heavily reliant on investors who want their money back eventually, Unreal Engine 5, originally Lumberyard at least for everywhere, also developing a platform game alongside it. I hope Mind's Eye is good, because hey, more open world, city-based games would be great, but no, it won't be a patch on GTA 6 in terms of scope and detail, because they simply do not have Rockstar's resources. And I thought that answer was perfect, because it really does outline sort of the behind-the-scenes things that we might not necessarily think about. We might see screenshots and on the surface compare them. Hey, that looks similar. That could be pretty cool in terms of a GTA 6 rival. But there's a lot of things behind the scenes like how big the company is, how big your budget is, etc. And how much experience you've had making these games that can really make a huge difference. I want to hear from you guys though in those comments down below. Do you think we have a Grand Theft Auto 6 rival on our hands here? And do you think it's going to compete 
with GTA 6 in any way, shape, or form. Let me know what you're thinking down there. Now, on the subject of Grand Theft Auto 6 and other video games, there's a new article that came out that said Grand Theft Auto 6 could be a threat to the video game ecosystem. This is an article that was just published on Games Radar. X PlayStation Head says the AA middle ground between GTA and Indies is gone, and relying on blockbusters to get us through is a death sentence. Going on to say, I think that's a threat to the ecosystem, if you will. So I'll read you the article right now. Former PlayStation boss Sean Layden believes that AA is gone, leaving a gap between AAA and indie games and forming a threat to the ecosystem of the games industry. In a talk during Gamescom Asia, Layden, who previously served as both president and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment America and chairman of Sony Interactive Entertainment Worldwide Studios, argues that games are now developed differently to how they once were. For a start, he says, you'd usually get a green light on a game if you could simply say it was fun, thanks to a fairly high risk tolerance, which came as a result of games not costing millions to make. That's obviously changed with the entry cost for making a AAA game is in the triple digit millions now. And Layden argues we're seeing a collapse of creativity in games today with studio consolidation and the high cost of production. Going on to say the games industry is now missing its middle piece between Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, and indie stuff. Where previously Interplay, Gremlin, Ocean, THQ, all these companies made their money. He adds AA is gone. I think that's a threat to the ecosystem, if you will. So he's basically talking about how because games like Grand Theft Auto 6 not only take years to make, but also if you read the reports and rumors at this point for GTA 6, cost billions of dollars to make, it leaves a huge gap between games you might play on your phone and then AAA mega hits that take years to make. Going on to say, while it's a positive thing that the standard quality of video games is pretty high now compared to 10 years ago, Layden wants to see more interest and excitement and exposure for these lower budget but super creative and super unusual types of games, and he thinks the alternative could be dire, because if we're going to rely on blockbusters to get us through, I think that's a death sentence. As well as being able to pursue the idea of being the new thing, Layden says AA games have strength and their fact that their time to market should be faster. He elaborates, you know, you get 1,500 developers to do Grand Theft Auto 6. That's not the place you need to go for your AA games. If you're a developer, you've got to be able to say, I can get something up and running in two to three and a half years. So essentially what he's saying is the video game industry relying on mega blockbuster hits like Grand Theft Auto 6 is a death sentence. So do you agree with Sean Layden? Do you believe that GTA 6 and other big AAA games like Mind's Eye are bad for the video game industry? Or is that just the change of tides and how things are gonna be going forward? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there and what we discussed earlier on GTA 6 and its new rival, Mind's Eye. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.